Hello again, I am Jim Ball and welcome back to F1 Manager Challenge Mode. The series where we make things a little trickier by uh, imposing a set of uh, rules and regulations on top of those already in the game to give us more of a, a challenge. And uh, we are now just two races away from the end of the season. Uh, we're heading to, uh, to Brazil for the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. Uh, home race for Felipe Drogovic, our... Uh, I say our star driver. He's actually slightly lower rated on paper than Freddy Vesti, but he has, you know, definitely got the legs on Freddy at the moment in terms of uh, pure pace. Uh, Freddy, a little bit more of a complete uh, or more well-rounded driver. Felipe, very, very quick though. And uh, that has been the case when it comes to our point scoring. He has scored the bulk of our points. Uh, as you can see, we currently sit seventh in the Constructors' Championship uh, with 46 points. We are now 14 points clear of Haas after a great race uh, last time out at Mexico City. And that has pretty much, I think, solidified seventh place for us. You know, our target was to get eighth in the championship and I wasn't too worried if we lost out to Haas and they got back in front of us because it would mean we would get those extra hours uh, for testing next season for finishing an 8th rather than 7th but I'll take 7th I'll quite happily take 7th uh, let's take a quick look at the driver standings you can see that uh, Felipe is uh, responsible for the vast majority of those points, 40 points for him uh, only 6 for Freddy uh, but Freddy has played some wonderful supporting roles for Felipe throughout the season to uh, compensate for the fact that he hasn't had that uh, straight out and out pace of his teammate uh, and has helped enable Felipe to go and score some of those additional points so uh, it's definitely been a team effort it hasn't been a one horse uh, you know you know just a one man army you know, it's been a joint effort for both of our drivers ah so where do we go from here well we go to Sao Paulo uh, last two races to go uh, we do have uh, some housekeeping to do. We did a little bit of it last night, but we still got more to do. Uh, so let's crack on with that. Uh, just, hello, Jeremy. Good to see you. Uh, hello to everyone else in the chat. Uh, so that was the rear wing research project that we finished and then started a new one um, with ours, our one and only major rear wing research project. And that is now underway. We did that last night. Uh, board confidence, they now have high confidence, as I'm sure they should have. I mean, uh, look at those recent performances. You know, uh, disappointed with Suzuka, I was disappointed with Suzuka. Yeah, we had good points on offer, and we kind of threw it all away with some silly mistakes. But, uh, yeah, apart from that, the last four, four of the last five races have been phenomenal for us. So, uh, Marina Bay in particular, that podium, wow. <sighs> If you haven't seen that stream yet, go watch it. Fantastic race. Uh, we are well on target for our 8th place or above objective. That's good. And we actually made good progress. We can't do it now, but we made good progress on the long-term objective this season. We'll have to start it again next season, but that's, uh, that's encouraging. If we can do that much in this season, what can we do next season? Uh, financial reports is, uh, if it's not singing our praises, I don't know what is. We've got 36 million in the bank that we can't touch right now. There's nothing we can really do with. Uh, we've got an update on where our car sits on the grid. You can see we're losing a bit more now to the rest of the grid in terms of top speed. That's slipped. We're down to 13th. Acceleration's taken a little dip as well. Our cornering speeds aren't amazing, but they're still pretty good. Uh, dirty air is not far off. Uh, we have lost a little bit on medium speed by the look of it. Um, engine cooling very bad still. Brake cooling has dipped ever so slightly. And DRS is still atrocious. So uh, definitely some work to do next season to get this car where it can really start to challenge for points in every race rather than you know a few races here and there. Uh, we have low stock on side pods. And that's absolutely fine. We never seem to damage the side pods when we have a wreck. So uh, I never make more than two. It just saves money. Not having parts sitting around that never ever get used. 
Uh, and there we go. That is time advanced very quickly, actually. A lot quicker than I was expecting. I thought we might get one or two emails pop up, but uh, no, apparently not. Uh, let's have an update then, see if anyone is bringing any updates to this Grand Prix. Uh, it looks as though we have dipped a little bit more again, uh, ever so slightly. That is uh, very, very slight. But we have slipped a little bit more. Acceleration has slipped, definitely, compared to the rest of the grid. Uh, top speed and has uh, dipped in DRS. Medium speed has dipped a bit more. Brake cooling has dipped a bit more again. Uh, so, yeah, uh, someone has definitely brought an upgrade here. Not sure who. Uh, let's take a quick look at Haas. We still have a better car than Haas on paper, although they are better at us in the DRS zones and they are quite important here. They are the two main overtaking areas, so uh, we could be vulnerable in those sectors, but everywhere else I think we've got enough of an edge to uh, outperform, at least Schumacher anyway. Uh, hopefully we can outperform Magnussen as well. Uh, the other team we're kind of in with is McLaren in a fight with, and yeah, their car still is absolutely nowhere so not worried about mclaren in this race uh, so let's set some targets uh we're not going to make q3 we just don't quite have that pace uh, but we can get both cars into the top 15 so we will confirm that it was close last night but we did manage to get both cars through uh let's see what we can do here it's Offering up the fastest lap as the incentive, which is good because we're never going to get it, so we won't lose money for for selecting it. I'm going to go two cars in the top 14. Uh, again, because we've taken a little hit in performance moving into this Grand Prix, there's no guarantee that we can actually improve on last night's performance. Um, and for quali, we'll go to the top 15 and hope we can achieve that. Again, we don't need, need the money, but it's just, it gives us something to aim for, doesn't it? The carnival atmosphere has already started here in Sao Paulo as Brazil welcomes the Formula One Grand Prix. The Autodromo Jose Carlos Pache has been a staple of the racing calendar for decades and soon will once again be watching the best drivers in the world give it their all. The Sao Paulo track is beautifully designed to present an enticing challenge for teams and drivers alike. Between medium speed S corners, hill climbs and the high speed section after Jun Sao, this circuit calls for cars to have a balanced setup to succeed here. This is it. We're down to the last few races of the season, and it's time for that final push. Who will be crowned champion at the end of it all? We'll find out soon enough. There's nothing like a race weekend in Formula One. I love this circuit. This is one of my all-time favorite circuits. We always get good racing in real life here, um, and usually in this game as well. Uh, I think, though, we will struggle a little bit. I think the, the main target for us, I think, is to try and get Felipe into 10th. If we can get Felipe into the points in his home Grand Prix, that will be a big success for us, I think. Uh, we do have the threat of rain on Saturday. Uh, so, again, could be practice, could be quali. I really hope it's quali, because we always seem to qualify very well when it's, when it's a wet quali. We always seem to just get one over on the AI. Uh, so we can jump our cars up the grid a little bit for higher than we would normally start. That's a bonus. Let's uh, have a look at swapping out some parts. Uh, let's get rid of the uh, engines for some older, more worn engines. I'm going to go for the really old one. And we'll go for that one. Uh, ERS modules, again, we'll swap out for the uh, worn-out, damaged ones. And same with gearboxes. We're just protecting against the shunt wrecking apart. Because even though we've only got two races left, we don't have a lot of parts left, so... Don't want to have to take penalties now. I suppose we could. 
We could take penalties, I suppose. But I don't really want to do that. Maybe maybe the last race of the season. Maybe we'll just throw all new parts in the car and just see where we end up. But, um, you know, burn some of that money we can't touch. But, yeah, I don't want to do it here. Uh, so, I'm going to go 18 laps. Actually, no, thinking about it. It's quite a quick lap. Let's go... Let's go 20 laps for Freddy. And, again, I don't have a... A guideline on this circuit so I'll go 21 laps on Felipe and we'll see which is better um, we've done the parts let's do his driving plan and now let's take a look at the sliders so quite uh, quite high front wing on that one uh, what about this one mm, slightly higher I would say okay uh, so let's look at my book of setups I'm gonna go with a 12.5 rear wing on both cars Let's start with uh, a 7, a 12 and a half, a 1, 9, a 3.5, and a 0.8. Let's uh, use that as a starting position for Freddy. And for Felipe, we'll go uh, a little different. We'll go 6.5, 12.5, 2.8. Uh, 3.4 and a 0.6 and we'll see how he does with that uh, I'm actually going to start this on the hard tyres and uh, I'm going to keep an extra set of mediums so we're not going to use mediums in practice I want to keep those for the race because soft tyres don't last amazingly long here uh, but hard tyres aren't amazingly quick so if we have a, an extra set of mediums available we have three sets instead of two that gives us a little bit more flexibility in terms of if a safety car pops out uh, and let's go into practice hey, evening there Mr Water good to see you should be green now. <clears throat> We're going to watch uh, Felipe's first lap around his home Grand Prix. Big moment for the young Brazilian. Uh, 21 laps. Mm, yeah, it looks to be about right. Could maybe go 22 on softs. Be a bit quicker. And there we go, a complete lap of the circuit for Felipe. Right, let's speed some time up. Get uh, practice one out of the way. So yeah, as I said earlier, my target for tonight is to get Felipe into 10th. Uh, I think uh, that would be a good achievement for us. And obviously, if if we can get higher than that, even better. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to get Freddy in the points today. 
Uh, this is a circuit where you do need a lot of cornering pace and he is lacking a little bit. Not a huge amount, but he is lacking. And uh, I just I just don't think he's going to have quite enough pace to make the points at the end of the Grand Prix. But having said that, we have potentially got a wet quali, Did which will start us further at the grid, which means we can try and hang with the cars in front of us a bit longer, get pulled along a bit further. That will help us later in the race. And if we get a safety car, who knows? We could end up jumping a What's lot of cars. What's your thoughts on coming in or doing any more? 86% uh, for Freddy. That's not too bad. What about Felipe? Uh, 90. Sure. Even better. Oh, there's a spin! All right, Freddy's in the pits. Uh, we need to change the roll bar, so let's go to a 2.8. Let's dial the toe back a bit. Uh, I need to change the front wing a little bit as well. Do I want to go higher or lower? Let's go a bit lower. Let's try that. See how that works. Okay, so rear wing is spot on. Uh, roll bar needs to change. Let's push that to a 1.9 and see everything else gets a small change. That could be all we need to do. Uh, so let's just go ahead and make that change. Okay, hoping for improvement with both drivers here. Oh, we've had a crash. Who has wrecked? Oh, it's Snowda, and that's not turn. That's not. He's out. That's not sector one. That's sector two. Oh. That's uh, that's gonna wreck a car. Oh, look at that, 99, almost there, just need to tweak that toe angle, and we've uh, got that one nailed. What about Felipe? Uh, that she went back slightly. 
Okay, but that'll tell us which way we do need to go to fix that. Let's see. On the toe, it's only one way it can go. It's got to go there. So that car is now nailed. The checkered flag is now out. Even if I Right, so going into this race, we have penalties for sights. Didn't you run one last time? Oh, yeah, because he took out Schumacher. <laughs> um, we have penalty for George, a uh, penalty for Schumacher, uh, who also had a penalty last time out. Um, yeah, interesting. Lots of cars starting to fall apart a little bit. Okay, so we improved the traction, but not quite enough, or a bit too much. Given that everything else went down, that to me suggests we've got to go the other side. So we'll go 7-5. Oh, no, wait. We've got the rear wing right where we need it. So let's not move the front wing. Let's move the toe. And the camber. Uh, I'm going to pull the front wing up slightly, ever so slightly. I'm going to go with that. Let's see how we do with that. We've uh, flipped the position of our sliders uh, to the opposite side of the green line on everything except for the traction because that just needed a minor touch. So fingers crossed we've got that one right. Uh, we're going to go softs in this session. And uh, we're going to go, let's go 22 laps just to see whether 22 on softs is too much. And again, we're going softs, and we're going to go um, a little bit more on this car, because we know this one's pretty much nailed in now. So we're going to go 30 laps. It's a long single run. and uh, see whether or not that was uh, the right thing to do. have a look 21 laps is the right amount 22 on fully paced guys just that little bit too long so yeah 21 laps is right Just had a spin. 
Let's see what for Farah will show this. Now, just watch the Mercedes here. And that spin is undoubtedly going to cost them time. Sounds like we've had a spin. There you go. Don't say I never do nothing for you. <laughs> Maybe that's what we expected. What do you think? That's close. Let's try and keep him at an extra couple of laps. Right, so what do we need to tweak? We need to tweak the cornering and the braking. Well, we can definitely tweak the braking. And I'm going to gamble that that is the only change I need to make. Let's uh, change the tyres. You can see how quick those tyres wore out. And it's not like Felipe's hard on his tyres. Softs just don't last very long here. They last longer than Kota, but yeah, they degrade very quickly. They're great for short sprints, but yeah, if you want to have real pace with the softs, you've got to really protect them. You can't push them because if you do, they just melt. All right, what do we get them to? Seventy-three percent. That's that's fine. We can run him in the next session. like a spin I think we've had a car run wide Nearly there with the setup. Come on with that feedback. Well, we're not going to get it all, I don't think. Hopefully, we'll get enough on the parts that we need. or are we going to get a wet quali? Fingers crossed for the wet quali. Uh, new soft tyres. Uh, again, we're going to go with... <clears throat> let's see, we put him on, what, 30 laps last time. That got him about 40%. So we'll go... We'll go 26 laps and then we can stretch him if we need to. That should be enough. Uh, as for Felipe... He only needs to do about 24 laps because he's uh, already a bit further along with his track acclimatization for that second run he did. Uh, let's see, did we get enough feedback to find out if we'd fixed what we needed to fix? 
Oh, not quite. Not quite. That means I'm going to have to tweak it and hope I don't break anything else. Hmm. Let's give it a try. We can always revert if we need to. Ready check? It's going to be a wet quality. Beautiful. Ready That's what check. we wanted. Okay, it's green now. Take a look at the replay. So this was the Aston Martin. Almost looks like he got nudged off the track there by uh, by Max, but just getting a little bit carried away. Is that Max or is that uh, Sergio? That's Sergio. Red Bulls are looking pretty quick. This uh, this Grand Prix is just another one where they are usually pretty competitive. Bit of feedback needed. Boom, there we go. We nailed it. All right, that's good. I wanted uh, a 100 setup for Felipe here. Someone's of all right. tracks, it had to be here. Keep him out for one more lap. Just make sure he does more than half an hour. There we go. That'll get him the maximum amount of experience points for practice. And now we just have to run out the clock. Everyone's running wide at turn six. We've just had a spin. Ah, and turn eight. <laughs> but that was a spin, not running wide. Oh, 
And there we go, session over. I think we've had a car run and it's always gone one, it's in six. Who'd have thought it? <laughs> right, so any other penalties picked up or is it just those three? It's just those three. Right. Hmm. Choices, choices. Oh, starting off full wets. Interesting. All right, got to go with my best engine. That's an 81. That's a 78, so I've got to go with that one. Because we're going to be nowhere at Abu Dhabi. Um, 83 and 79, so it's that one. Yeah, Abu Dhabi's a nothing race for us. This is this is the one that counts. All right, let's uh, go qualifying the wet. Radio check. Radio check. So it is going to dry up. It's going to be all about timing here. So we're going to go onto a set of inters and just wait. And we know how unpredictable our weather center is. So we're already taking a gamble by getting straight off the wets. But looking at that, that is going to be into weather from about half the session onwards. In fact, I think what I might do is we'll gamble a little bit here. And we'll go for one additional lap. So we'll do two laps. We should hopefully have enough battery for two laps. Oh, I've just put extra fuel in. I haven't actually put an extra lap on, I don't think. Um, it's been a while since I've done this. Run plan. Flying laps. Two. There we go. No additional fuel needed for... So just to confirm that those have gone through. Yes, good. So yeah, now we just have to wait for the right moment. Already the weather is not predicting, not behaving as, as it should do. It is going to get dry apparently in four minutes, which I don't believe for a second. Um, and then damp again got a heavy rain coming in three minutes so let's go now we can just do one lap if necessary everyone else is going to be on full wets there will be a slight crossover but if it's about to start chucking it down if we can get an inter time in that's better than wet times Then we'll be we'll be laughing all the way to the grid. going to dry up enough for us to get enough of an advantage with the inters there is a little bit of a crossover for the wets into inter territory but not really the other way around i don't know it's i'd, I'd like it to be a little bit lower i'd like it to be about 3.6 3.5 it's not quite there uh, and there we 
we go. We just didn't quite get it in time, and now we're going to start struggling. Well, it's going down again. We're going to do another lap afterwards. Potentially. I might cancel that part way round. Let's see where we end up. It's not a great end to the lap. Thought we could be clever, but... but it's nice. It's faster than Sonoda and Latifi, but it's not great. Yeah, Djokovic got it even worse. Oh, dear. All right, let's call them in. There's no point doing another lap. Not with the conditions like this. It does look like it might dry up a little bit, so we'll just get them recharged. And potentially send them back out again. Is it going to come down enough? It's not coming down, is it? Oh, it is. It is coming down. So, we're going to try and do two laps here. Which is why I sent them out slightly early. We should have enough time to do another lap after this. When the track will be even drier. Traffic might be an issue on this lap. And we've got a mix. Some are out there on wets. Oh, the Stappen's on wets. Ooh, bad move for the Stappen. Someone's locked up. It's uh, one of the Williams, I think. Sounds like someone's yeah, locked Latifi up. locking up. He's started moving again. We're up to P2 and P6. Obviously, it's only Q1, so it doesn't matter quite so much. But we've got another lap now with the track. Probably at the best it's been all, all week, all session. And it's still improving. We could take provisional pole here. Oh, I was hoping Felipe had some clear air, but he doesn't. Who is that in front? Is that Gasly or Sonoda? I think it's Sonoda. Another lockup. Car in the wall. Okay, copy. Gasly's out, so it's not Gasly, we're stuck behind Sonoda. We're getting held up here, but we'll get a tow up to the line. We are, it's still improving, look. Looks like there's been a lockup. I'm glad we did the second lap. Vesti's through. Oh, so close. Just, just squeezing through there. No, no. Felipe's out. Oh, it's home corn free and he's out. All right, well, screw it. We're going to put, we're going to put brand new uh, components in his car. Give him a brand new engine. If he's starting in 17th, he may as well start 20th. With, uh, with all that extra horsepower. 
Freddy's through. <sighs> that is uh, frustrating. I thought of the two drivers who's going to get through. It's going to be Freddy. It's going to be, sorry, it's going to be Felipe. Can't believe it. We got stuck behind Sonoda. Freddy. We hadn't. We'd have been through. Okay, it's green now. But, you know, like I said, this does give us the opportunity to put a brand new engine in Felipe's car. Have to fight his way through the field. Freddy do. Just him and Hamilton on track right now. That's the first time Felipe's got out in Q1 for a very long time. I can't remember the last time he was out in Q1. Early races of the season. I think possibly Imola. Maybe. Maybe Miami. What sort of pace are we looking at on dries? Hamilton is a 110 effectively. And we're only half a second off him. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Good first effort. See where we shake out compared to the rest of the field. Got one set of softs left. I can't see Vesti getting into the top ten. A couple of tenths off Magnuson. Not a tenth and a half. Um, Ricardo's in front of us as well. Russell's late going out of the pits. He might, might not make it. If he does, it's going to be very close. both the first and second sectors can Freddy actually do this can he jump Ricardo and Magnussen he's going to be the first to cross the line Russell did manage to get across in time uh, and we are currently P10 can we hold on to that look it's just three thousandths faster than Magnussen if Magnussen approves at all pretty much he's through Schumacher has crossed the line. Oh, 
There's Magnussen. There's Ricardo. Oh, Ricardo's getting the slipstream from Norris. But he got held up. He couldn't improve. What about Kevin? Kevin doesn't improve. Vesti's in the top ten. What is going on? <laughs> Freddy Vesti, who's been off the pace of Felipe all season, out qualifies his teammate spectacularly at his teammate's home race. Ooh, that's got a sting. How the hell did Freddy get in the top 10? And now I've got no, no tyres <laughs> for this session. Um, I'm not even going to run, I don't think. I'm, I'm saving those for the race, just in case. They're our best tyres, 86%, so let's go with those. Uh, we're on two flying laps of fuel as well. Oh, man, we could have gone even faster. Uncharted territory for Freddie Vesti. Well, the good thing as well is Vesti is running a, a slightly older engine than uh, Felipe is going to run. He can potentially act as a buffer to the cars behind to make it a little bit easier for Felipe to move up through the field. I do expect Felipe to be faster in the race, even without the new engine. But with the new engine as well, yeah, he should be several tenths a second faster. Right, our one and only run. We'll go out behind Ocon. Can we actually jump anybody here? I don't think we can, but we'll give it a go on the scrubs. I don't think we'd have had the pace with brand new tyres, but like I said, I wanted to keep those, uh, those brand new ones for the race, just in case we get a safety car. Having brand new softs available gives us that little bit of extra flexibility. Oh look, we got rain on the way. Apparently, in three minutes. that was it I didn't think we'd uh, be close enough a couple of tenths off new tyres could possibly have taken an extra tenth out of that but I still think we would have been behind so tenth plus elevation from penalties let's see Sykes and Russell could both get moved down uh Freddy is looking good. The time has come to fight it out. It's race day. Aston Martin performed well during the qualifying session and they're rewarded with a good grid position for the race. 
Alpha Tauri's qualifying results were in line with the targets set out for the team. They certainly have the potential to achieve a good result here today. And the sky is looking grey and cloudy today. An effective tyre strategy could prove very valuable as the race plays out. As ever though, the teams will be paying close attention to their strategies as the race approaches. Here we go folks, this is the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. All right, so let's put that new engine in the car, seeing as we're starting way down the order. And because we're starting at the back, we may as well give him, well, we don't need a spare ERS, but we'll give him a brand new gearbox as well. Why not? Uh, how much fuel do I want to take out? One or two laps? Just the one, I think. Uh, gonna go a bit aggressive off the line. Gotta make some uh, some moves early on. Uh, we're gonna be a bit more conservative with Freddy. And now we need to look at strategy. So, this is what I mean about softs just not lasting. Look, it's only what 15 laps that they're really, really decent. They, after 15 laps, they're basically rubbish. So, do I go medium, medium, hard, or do I go medium, hard, medium, or do I go spoiler and do I start on the hards? I don't know. Freddie's gonna have to pace to hold people back for too long given our poor DRS if we start him on the hards I think I'll go the medium medium hard route and then uh, if we get a, a safety car uh, not long after we switch on to hards we've got that spare set of mediums that we can go on to and if we get a late late safety car we've got that brand new set of softs so I think that is the way to go and obviously we can change things on the fly we could if we get an early safety car we could maybe switch to this strategy um, we'll see. We'll see how things go. Uh, what about Felipe? Now, do I gamble with those soft tyres? He's got extra sets. Do I go for something really crazy here? Do I go for a three-stop? extra softs, haven't I? So I could probably get away with a soft, medium, soft, soft. That's a 128.05. Let's see how that stacks up against... That's eight seconds slower. Yeah, I had a feeling it might be. Uh, so... Um, What about a soft, medium, hard? Or even a soft, hard, medium? Use those soft tires early on. Try and gain a few quick positions. Uh, then undercut everybody. That is on paper the same as that. That's one option. The other option is uh, soft, medium, hard, and then we've got spare softs if we get a late safety car. We've also got spare mediums as well. Yeah, I think that's probably smarter than soft, hard, medium is soft, medium, hard. Yeah, we're going to gamble with Felipe. 
so there we go that is our plan let's see how we do uh freddy is starting in eighth oh felipe is starting 15th although that much that's going to change because we're going in the new engine it's a bit of a cloudy day for the race but the atmosphere as ever is electric aston martin there they're in the front half of the pack so there's plenty of potential for them. There's the second Aston Martin. With their starting position in the back 10, they'll have their work cut out for them. The race start is mere seconds away. Who will win? Only time will tell. Here at the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go. Right, good start from Freddy. Let's focus. Uh, let's have a look at Felipe. Ferrari, advance the race position. That's it. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. We're going to have to follow through here. Currently P9, P9. Best in uh, Ricardo having a right old ding dong. Okay, Ricardo's on softs. McLaren That'll be why. Looks like a few cars have started on softs actually. Can we go around the outside here? Yes. Right, now I need Joe to get out of the way. Good job. Uh, oh, Ricardo, Latifi and Drogovic are the only three on softs. With a great play there. They've moved up a place. Oh, it's really crowded down the back here. Oh, cut to the inside, maybe. There we go. We're through on Joe. Next up Joe. is Albon. DRS is enabled. Around the outside. Ooh, that's a brave move. He gets it. And he's going to have the DRS. Oh, so is the Williams. Use the last of the battery. Good job. There we go, we're through. Like this, you got Russell and Sainz and Gasly all squabbling with each other, all stuck behind Nicholas Latifi.
Take a look at Vesti. You've got uh, Ricardo. Yeah, Ricardo is on softs. Um, Ricardo trying to push his way through. We're right behind him. Can we get Gasly? If we can get Gasly before we get to Latifi, that'll be a bonus. He's going to go around the outside for a second. There's that little jink there from uh, from Gasly. Uh, oh, yellow flag in front. All ran wide by the oh, look of it, didn't actually. Wide, That's turn six, <laughs> wouldn't you know it? All it's done is it's created a gap between Hamilton and Ocon. Oh, we got so much more pace than this. Latifi's holding everybody up, just like he did in Mexico. to squeeze through. Come on, Gasly, get through. I can't really do anything until you get out of the, out of the way. There we go. Now I can attack Latifi. Hopefully Gasly can pull me along. I need to make the most of these tyres while I've got them. is hanging with Gasly, he's getting protected with DRS. Should hopefully drop him here though. There we go, that's a second. Sainz motoring his way through, he's up to 11th now. Let's try and uh, energy if you need it, use energy. Let's try and push Vesti up Probably. a little bit past Ricardo. Now that that Ferrari's coming. Uh, 
that's not enough. Okay, we kind of got past Ocon. Can we do the same? Before we get swallowed up. Latifi spun, so we are through, but we've now lost, oh, and there goes um, Schumacher. Is that a lock -up? Oh, the best life in these tyres is gone already, down to 66%. Just to break the gap. Use energy. Come on, around the outside. No. Ah, we're stuck here. Put some battery back in the car. Maybe we can follow through around the outside. No, he didn't even get through himself. Sites trying to find his way past Magnuson. Felipe clear of Joe. Gasly's passed Sonoda already. Like I said, these tyres are dying off for Felipe already. And I think I left him in charge too long. I think we just got dropped. Yeah, we did. Ah, crap. So Sonoda is getting a bit of a tow from his faster teammate right now, which is why we're not closing in. You can use energy. Use energy. You can use energy. I did enough to get away from Magnuson and get back to the back of Ricardo. Does mean that Sainz might well jump him though. That Sainz is stuck. Sainz isn't getting through this lap. That's good. 
Tsunoda has just been dropped. Or has he? No, he's, he's still just about hanging on to DRS. Now I think he's been dropped. So now we should start to make some progress on Tsunoda. These guys going side by side. Still all scrapping away. Good solid defending from Magnuson here. He's keeping sides behind him. And I do realise that's the curse of the commentator and he's probably going to get him straight away now. No, Freddy, Freddy, Freddy. Damn it. Oh, that's a big drop in positions. Oh, come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, and now he's going to hold up his teammate. Fantastic. Someone's run wide. So that just cost Freddy seven places and also took a second out of the gap between, or increased the gap between Sonoda and Drogovic by, by about a second. That's not good. At least now we can charge him up behind Felipe while Felipe gets ready for his in lap. He's going to take the lead, so we'll switch him. We'll get Freddy charging up. Um, getting, getting Felipe charged up. Oh, shall we? Fuel. Love it. Let him go. There you go. And that's cost us time to Joe. All that faffing about. No saving required. Yeah, this has not worked out the way I was hoping it would. I was hoping Drogovic would have made a bit more progress than this. I was hoping Freddy would still be up in the top half of the table. Good job, keep pushing. It's all kind of going to shit. I wonder if I should have just left the old engine in, started in 15th. His ties are dead. Let's box him. Uh, so we're going to go mediums. Box, box. Probably box. Good lane. Copy. Uh, yeah, not a good start. 
I'm hoping we can uh, claw back some ground here with this undercut. I'm also really praying for a later uh, safety car. With about 15, 20 laps to go. Come in for a new set of mediums. All right, so what can you do from last place here? longer Ricardo and Latifi are going on their softs. Ricardo does now look to be holding people up. Sainz has passed him already. Sainz is up to eighth. He's flying through the field. I wish we had a car that was that capable. So five and a half seconds, the gap between uh, Drogovic and Latifi. Let's see what it is at the end of the lap. He should start closing him down quickly. Vesti is still closing in on Sonoda and is holding Joe back. So Vesti has got decent pace. It's just not in a position to really do anything with it. And given his uh, little mishap, I think I'll uh, switch his strategy. We'll finish on the mediums. Well, there we go. Ricardo and Latifi both into the pits. We did close some ground. We jumped Latifi because of the pit stop. What did we do last lap? We did a 1.14.2. Yeah, big pace improvement. 1.3 seconds faster than Schumacher. might box a lap or two early here as well with Vesti trying to undercut Sonoda. Sainz is going for mediums. So he's going medium, medium hard. Is he going to feed out? Ahead of Albon. Comfortably ahead of Albon. Who is doing a good job holding up Ricardo and Schumacher for us. We were two seconds faster than Albon on that last lap. Oh, I think Ricardo just got him. Yep, Ricardo just got him. with Bestie. We just need to push now. 
We've got science coming up behind us. He's going to be coming up very fast. I don't want to lose time fighting him in a battle we're never going to win. So if we get out of the way quickly, Joe might get held up. We can jump Sonoda if he stays out an extra lap or two. And Schumacher's through. Oh, and that's a little wide for Vesti. Lost him a couple of tenths, but not too bad. Extracting the last of these tyres. Perez and Hamilton are both in. Perez has gone out. Is that hard he's gone out on? Hamilton's going hard. Ocon's going hard. I think. Magnussen and Norris are in. Please tell me Sonoda's staying out. Yes, he is. All right, so. Copy. So use pit limiter, pit limiter. Oh, and Joe's pitting as well, so pitting this lap was the right call, because otherwise we'd have been undercut by Joe. And Drogovic is going to jump Freddy. Verstappen's in. A few others are coming in as well. Bottas, Alonso, Gasly. Sonoda's staying out this lap then because Gasly's coming in. That's good. That means we'll definitely jump Sonoda. Schumacher and Albon are in. That clears the way for Freddy. Most people going medium, hard, medium. Or soft, hard, medium. You can see we've got um, Sainz, Bottas, Alonso and Verstappen are going medium, medium, hard. And now Leclerc's in. What's he going on to? Someone's spun. Oh, damn it! God damn it! That's damage. Let's have a look. So this was the Aston Martin. That's a safety car. Oh, this race. It's only a VSC, but we've got no bloody front wing now. Oh. A, it's it is the Brazil curse. It took Senna a lot of times to win his home Grand Prix. It took Massa a lot of attempts to win his own Grand Prix. It's just same for Rubens Barrichello. I don't did Rubens ever win Brazil? I think he won it once. I know he got on the podium, but it's just it's a curse for Brazilian drivers. They never seem to do well at their home Grand Prix. I wanted to keep an extra set of mediums not specifically for this reason but yeah. <laughs> um, can I convert 
Vesti on some mediums as well. Mm. I don't know if I should. It's a little bit too early. We'll leave Vesti alone, but yeah, we've got a pit for Lipe. We'll uh, get a slow uh, field for the pit stop, so we should hopefully. Ah, we've got an extra seven seconds for the, or uh, well, five seconds added on for the wing change. At least Gasly is going to have a, uh, a penalty for causing that collision, as well as a wing change. So he's going to have to serve a penalty. So we'll jump him. I think just. No, we didn't jump him. Ah, we had a really slow pit stop. Ah, so we're back in last. What's Gasly gone on to? Gasly's gone on to Hearts. Of energy. Oh, this Grand Prix is turning into a disaster. Happy to push. Sorry. Virtual safety car ending. DRS is enabled. DRS Vesti is, enabled. is nowhere. <laughs> He's 14th. He's got Joe right on his backside. All that time, just a note has gone. Of course, uh, Latifi quickly though. Ah, uh, yeah, Vesti got jumped. Oh, maybe the two of them can work together. Close the gap to Sonoda. That's it. Or we can just retake him straight away. That'll work too. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. Surely we can get this move done here. Yes, there we go. And can we get past Gasly in the same sweeping move? Good job. Yes, we can. Good. Someone spun out. Oh, spin for sights. Let's have another look. Science is the focus here. Oh, and he's hit. They spun the car. He's hit Bottas. Ah, oh, that's a penalty for Science. Oh, 
So Science has charged his way all the way through the grid, gone up to sixth, and then immediately dropped that place back to Bottas after the spin, and now has a penalty, which will be added to his pit stop, so that's going to drop him further down the grid again. I don't think there was any damage. So they're a long way, a long way ahead of us. So it's a bit hard to tell right now. All right, we've broken away from Gasly. So we haven't got to worry about him. Now we're going to hunt down Albon again. And then Schumacher and Joe again. Bestie is slowly closing on Snowden. And we were almost the fastest man on track last time round. Can we salvage anything from this race? Can we get either of our drivers into the top 10? It's going to be a hell of a last now. It really is. Even with a new engine, I don't know whether Felipe is going to be able to do anything. Still hoping on that late safety car. Bring him in, bolt on a set of brand new softs and just go like the clappers. And a lot of the field, I think, will be on mediums, but some of the field will be on softs. But so it will be on hards. So there will be opportunities to uh, move up through the grid. Let's keep an eye on Vesti in his uh, fight with Joe. pace the Joe. I think if I push Vesti I might be able to break away. I'll wait till we get out of the DRS sections and then I'll see if I can actually sprint him away. No point trying to do it now. I might get overtaken, so goes defensive. Right, he's got that moved on. So use energy if you need it. So let's see if we can sprint enough to get clear of Joe. We can stop dragging him with us. That means Joe will drop off the back and be easier for Drogovic to catch and then pass, hopefully. Try charging up again when we get onto the back of Sonoda. I'm not sure if Albon is catching Schumacher or if Schumacher is dropping Albon. I think he might be dropping him. seconds is that enough let's uh, keep an eye on the gap someone spun yellow ahead yeah copy oh, Bottas has spun now we see Valtteri Bottas you see science, this, that's how you spin yes, without taking someone else out. out. Right, 
Vesti does seem to be pulling out a little bit extra over Joe. That's good. That's very good. And Felipe is definitely catching Albon, who is now out of DRS, so he should theoretically be relatively easy pickings. So disappointed with the way this thing is uh, turning out right now. Might just get the DRS. Used energy. Yep. I think I did. Just in time. Yes, I did. side at turn four. Beautiful move. Keep doing what you're doing. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. Is uh, Albon going to get us back? Not there, he's not. Slowly whittling down the gap to Sonoda. We are slowly making progress up the grid, but it's very slow progress. Yeah, a lot, a lot more sobering experience this time out than it was last night at Mexico, where we were actually very competitive. We, we're just off, off the pace here. Not having a good DRS you know, deployment is not helping us either. And at least we've dropped Albon now. We can uh, focus purely on hunting down Schumacher. No need to drive defensively anymore. As we approach half distance, 14th and 17th. Not great.
Ooh, Norris losing two places there. Got taken by Ricardo and Magnussen. Got back past Magnussen briefly, and Magnussen's got him again. Norris not having a good race. Oh, someone's locked up. It's one of the uh, Red Bulls. The snapping. We'll wait for the replay. They've locked up and gone straight on. We can take a look now. We're just watching the Red Bull. Just a bit too heavy. They kept the it out the barrier. And they've locked up. Is that another lockup? It's got to be another lockup. Who's done it this time? I think there's been a lockup. Schumacher. Let's take a Ooh. look at the replay. Now just focus on the hats. That lockup could have cost them dearly. So uh, Drogovic goes through. And the team had such high hopes. Now he's just 12 and a half seconds off the back of Joe. Ooh, that's a big gap. It's a very big gap. See if we can get onto the back of Sonoda so by the end of the lap. Sitting his uh, DRS for a couple of laps, get our battery charged back up. And then we'll push on and see if we can break away from him. Get in. I don't think we did. Oh, I don't know. It's going to be really close. We're going to be in it for the next one, but. We just need to charge up. No, we missed it this lap, but we got the slipstream. Drogovic is half a second faster than Joe. So he is going to close that gap down. This is very much a driver's circuit, this circuit. And by that I mean it's one where you really need your drivers to have good skills. Because the difference in car performance is kind of negated a bit on this circuit. There's only two real major op overtaking opportunities and that's the main straight and then the run down from turn three to turn four. They're the two main overtaking opportunities on the entire circuit. The rest of it is flowing corners, but not a lot of great overtaking opportunities. Uh, if your driver is very good in the pace stats, he can lose, he, sorry, he can gain a lot of time in the middle sector. But if your driver doesn't have the, 
the greatest stats, you can lose a lot of time. I mean, we've got a car that is capable of top 10 finishes every race right now. Our drivers, though, not so much. Next season will be better for them. They'll have had a season of competition and uh, a season of development. And I'm hoping that they'll pick up some good points over the winter period as well. To stand them in good stead for Bahrain. And we'll have an even better car next year. So next year I'm expecting us to be challenging for points most races, if not all races. But I think the way we've developed the car and the research that we're doing, we could definitely be higher in the championship if we had you know, top calibre drivers. We had drivers of, of a Gasly or an Alonso or a Russell or a Hamilton or a Norris, that kind of level of driver. We'd be scoring a lot more points. But that's the, uh, that's the beauty of challenge mode. We have to really work for the results, and they're just that much better yeah, when we okay. when we actually get them. After Singapore, I was on a high for three days. It was just such a great feeling. I see your point there, Farah, but again, I'm going to reiterate, it comes down to two things. One, how you develop your young driver, and two, one thing you always have to take into consideration is that there's no stat degradation for the experienced older drivers, so they just get better and better and better. Not at the same rate, but they, they never degrade, they always improve. So all you're doing is closing the gap, but you reach a point where you're never really going to catch them until they retire. Oh, it's not the top level drivers anyway, or the top half of the grid. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. Use energy if you need. Okay, Sainz is pitting. And he is going to have that penalty. Okay, penalty served. He's gone on to hard tyres. He's going to go to the end. So we can expect some of the other hard, uh, soft runners to come in, or medium runners, sorry, to come in soon as well. So Bottas, Alonso, Verstappen, Leclerc. Drogovic, Albon, Sonoda. You know, they're going to, well, not Drogovic, but those guys will be coming in and pitting onto hard tyres. We've got a small window here where we might be able to do something. I mean, science coming out here behind these two will hopefully slow these guys down unless he cuts straight through them and that will give us a chance to maybe get Vesti a little bit closer as they have to go defensive
All right, science is going to get uh, get past Norris here, I think. Or well, maybe not. Norris might box him in. No, he's through. Oh, and straight. Oh, I thought he was going to go straight up the inside of Magnuson there. That was uh, close. Norris now having another look. And this is slowing down this uh, train in front of us. Not by much. Only by a couple of tenths, but it all adds up. Science gets through, he's going to have to go defensive again because uh, he's giving up DRS to Magnuson. He just doesn't have the pace, and now we should see Science pull away. Leclerc is in, and so is Verstappen. So Leclerc in for his hard tyres. And he's away before uh, Verstappen even gets into his box. Verstappen also onto his hards. Here comes Alonso. And Bottas behind him. So now I have a decision to make. Do I bring Felipe in? early and put him on hards to the end or do I just keep him out where he's going to be a bit slower I mean we're only four laps away from the planned stop that's four laps of rubbish tyres but then on to mediums again where he will be quick Sonoda has pitted uh, are we still closing on Joe? just yeah, we'll keep him out for now. If he's still closing on Joe, we'll, we'll try keeping him out an extra couple of laps. But we may have to concede this uh, this strategy and put him onto hard tyres. Rather not do that. If we can stretch him enough to get him onto mediums, I think that would be better just how much pace he's going to lose in the process. Oops. All right, now Bottas is going to harry Magnussen and Ricardo. Oh, sorry, Magnussen and Norris. Uh, Sainz already back up to eighth. He swept past uh, Ricardo nice and quickly. Oh, and Norris has dropped out of DRS as a result of the pressure from Bottas. That could be really, really crucial for us. If, if Norris can keep Bottas behind him, which it looks like he can at least here, then this is going to be amazing for us. Because it's going to slow Norris down. It's going to give Vesti a chance to try and close in. Vesti's close to his pit stop as well. He's into his uh, one lap warning for his window. Uh, Drogovic 
is still just a little bit faster than Joe. But he is losing time to Sonoda. But he'll gain that time back. Uh, I've got... Is that Perez right behind me? It is. Right. Uh, given that, I'm going to box Felipe a lap early. I don't want him to lose time getting lapped. So we'll bring him in this lap. Box, box. We're still going to probably have to pull over at some point to let Leclerc through, but... And probably Perez as well at some point as well. Depends, you know, Perez is going to have to pit again soon. If he pits this lap, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> Best be getting held up by uh, someone. Is that Gasly? Yeah. Wow, Gasly's in last. All right, Perez did not pit. But we did lose a little bit of time to Norris there. All right, decent stop. Can we get out ahead of... Well, Leclerc's through. That's good. Verstappen's going to be an issue. He's going to be on us almost immediately. So let's take the opportunity to put some battery in the car and then see if we can stay with him and get DRS on the start of the next lap. Bottas just cutting his way through the field. This is one of those circuits where fresh rubber is really important. I mean, you can see how quickly Sainz and Bottas have cut their way through. Energy if you need it. Okay. Right, we've got DRS off the back of the snap in there. That uh, gives us another chance to put a little bit more back in the car and get pulled along at a slightly faster pace. I'm kind of hopeful we can stay with him a little while, given that we are on brand new mediums against his not quite brand new soft uh, hard tyres. I think Norris is going to pit next lap. Okay, box, 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 box. There's Perez in the pits. Have we stayed within a second? We have. Oh, that's encouraging. That's really encouraging. And that is a godsend for Drogovic. If he can stay with Verstappen, even if it's only for two laps, let's just pause him along at a nice extra bit of speed. Get someone to the back of Schumacher that bit quicker. And if we can stay with him when... Um, Verstappen gets to Schumacher. Schumacher's going to pull over to get out of the way. And we might be able to sneak straight through. Without even having to, you know, put up a fight. So, given that, let's give him just a little bit of extra no, beans. No. Yeah, Norris has pitted. And Stop so it. has Magnussen and Ocon and Hamilton. Everyone's coming in.
All right, we we jump Magnuson. Magnuson must have been held in the pits for Norris, and that allowed us to get through as well. We just set a new fastest lap. Wow. And look at that, in, in the space of what, a lap? We have halved the gap to Schumacher. And Sainz just took fastest lap from us. That was nice while it lasted for all of, what, three corners? All right, we've lost the chance to stay with Verstappen now, I think. Or have we? Can we stay in? Doing a good job. We did exactly what I hoped we would, and then we snuck through on Schumacher. And we did miss DRS. But uh, I can't fault that. I mean, there's Schumacher pitting. That was that was mag yeah, magnificent stuff. We got such a boost from those three laps behind Verstappen there. Now we're going to lose some time because we've got to let Perez through. But maybe we can do it all over again. I don't think we'll be able to keep with him quite as easily because because of where we got past. We lost so much speed there. Oh, yellow flag! Someone sideways. Oh man, Gasly's got no front wheel. I wonder why he was in last. He's got no spare front wings. And that'll be because Sonoda destroyed the last spare wing that they had available in practice. Will they be able to recover? We'll see. I wonder why Gasly was at the back of the field. Now I know why. Because he's got no wing. Meanwhile, we're on the back of Norris. We just need to charge up. Perfect. We've got the better line, we've got the better drive, and we've got the DRS. Oh, this is beautiful. What a recovery we're making here. We're past Norris. That's it. Drogovic still plodding away, but making Looks some like progress. Martin have just gained a race position. Norris fighting back. If I can judge this right. We can stay in contention. And McLaren with a great overtake. And get the DRS again. There we go. Couldn't quite get it the way I wanted it, but that'll do. And again, we're going to go around the outside. Norris, I think, just gave us the DRS again. Yes, he did. And this time, we're going to make a push. Let's try and get after his teammate. We're not okay on fuel. Before Leclerc lapses. Use energy if you need it, use energy. Yeah, <clears throat> oh, we just took a big chunk of time out of drug, uh, uh, Joe there. Joe must have pulled over to let both of the uh, Red Bulls through. Please tell me we got DRS off the back of that Williams. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. Beautiful. So 
want to put some battery back in the car before that Ferrari gets to us, if I can. Drogovic within 1.2 seconds. I don't know if I can squeeze him all the way up to 10th. Not with the amount of time that's left, but I can at least try and get him into 11th. Or 12th. That's better than, better than where he is. Still no points, though. Right, here comes the Ferrari. Please get me here before the DRS line. Damn it. Now I'm going to be vulnerable to Norris again. And any chance I had of staying with that Ferrari is just probably disappearing here. I can get a good can exit energy. here, can maybe. Can use I don't think so. No. But I can at least hold off Norris. See if we can break away again. I don't know if that was enough to get away from Norris. Looks like his rear wing's open. I got nothing left. What's Ricardo doing? He's doing 112 nines. So we're about half a second a lap faster. A yellow flag in sector two. That is Schumacher, I think. Sounds like someone's locked yes, up. Yes, Schumacher. All right, we've just about got the one second. Those two fighting. Just helping us out a little bit here. Got to be wary of the fact that the Red Bulls aren't too far behind us on track. We might see them coming around the corner in a second. There they are. safety car territory. Yeah, this is where we really need one. Get back on the lead lap. With fresh tyres. Try and cut our way through. killed the battery to do it but I did manage to get to DRS unfortunately I'm gonna to have to kill it again just to stay in the DRS Use energy. Yep. I don't think I did 
Nope, we missed it. Sonoda will hopefully hold up uh, Joe. Joe dives up the inside. Someone spun. Not sure who that is or where it is. That's a spin. That's right, Schumacher on turn one. That's not sector three. That's <laughs> turn one. That's sector one. Two second gap now to those two behind us. Red Bulls are closing in. And we are lapping about the same as Ricardo. That's not good enough. I don't really have anything left to push with. Just want to make sure I've got a little bit of surplus battery. Even if it's only like one or two percent. I just don't like crossing the line with zero. This is where our DRS performance hurts us. This Williams is going to screw us over, I can just feel it. Yeah, <clears throat> could have been worse, but yeah, we definitely lost a bit of time. But Sonoda is now vulnerable. Sonoda no longer has DRS to Joe. Ah, the Rebels are through. So they are coming. And I just hope they don't bring Magnuson and Norris with them. I think they're going to bring Magnus and Norris. I don't think they will. Yeah, Norris has been dropped. <laughs> oh, mounting the curve to go through there. Faster than Ricardo is not enough. Got seven seconds to close. Ah, oh, need that safety car. I need, I need new tyres. I can't do anything unless something happens to a car in front of us. Eleventh is the best we're going to get. Drogovic might get Joe. 
And I think that's as high as he's going to get. So we're looking at 11th or 14th. Ah, all that high hopes we had coming into this Grand Prix. Dashed with Felipe going out in Q1. Briefly lifted with the thought of a new engine helping him cut through the field. Dashed with what happened <laughs> with uh, Freddie losing position and then uh, holding up his teammate. And then losing his front wing. Looks like there's been a lockup. Okay, Alonso, uh, it's not enough. I need you to do something more stupid than just a little lockup. Even if I can stick with the Red Bulls, they're not lapping fast enough to hunt down Ricardo. They're only lapping half a second faster. Just not enough. I don't have the pace. And Felipe doesn't have the tyres. He's lapping the same as Joe. His tyres are 10% better. Yeah. I don't even think we're going to get Joe. Ah, oh, what a sobering race. We've been doing so well in these uh, last half a dozen races. And we've been brought back down to earth with a bump. Eight more laps. Eight more laps. We haven't really had that much action on track either that we can really say is going to give them a nice big point boost at the end of the Grand Prix for experience. There's not been a lot of overtaking, not been a lot of defending for either driver. There's just been a lot of lapping a couple of seconds ahead or a couple of seconds behind of cars. We are going to give Freddy, because he can't do it, not Freddy, sorry, Felipe, we're going to give him a moment of glory, because he can't, he can't get points. So we're going to give him um, a, a charge on his battery, we're going to put a little bit of spare fuel in his car, and we're going to box him for softs, and we're going to let him go for the fastest lap. We're not going to get a point for it, we'll get a little bit of a cash reward if we can get it, but more importantly... Felipe will get the fastest lap at his home Grand Prix. That's that's the best we can salvage out of this Grand Prix, is just knowing that we managed to get him the fastest lap at his home race. We're only going to drop a position to Sonoda. So we're only going to drop one place. We're way ahead of Schumacher. His Gasly's still going around with no no uh, front wing on his car. We're not okay on fuel. How far back is he now? How many laps down? He's three laps down. Vesti's going to need some more fuel. Uh, no, Vesti's lapped. He doesn't need fuel. Freddie is lapped. He doesn't need fuel. Why am I saving fuel? Uh, sorry, Felipe's lapped as well. Um, I know I'm charging battery, but 
Alpha Tauri. Fox. Copy, Fox. No saving required. Copy. We just need to push now. I could have pushed earlier if I didn't even click. I'm a lap down. Five more laps. Five more laps. Coast will help that. Go time. Energy's good. Okay. So four more laps to go, four more laps. We've lost control and <sighs> Sainz is sideways. Okay, Please tell me I didn't just hit him. No, we got through. <laughs> We've seen that. <laughs> We've seen that happen already today. Energy, if you need it. just caused an accident by putting them under pressure. It's a safety car. Is that enough to get Freddy? It's enough to get Freddy in the pit, in the points. It has just killed Felipe getting fastest lap, but we've got Freddy in the, in the points. Uh, where is Freddy? There he is. We've got to keep him out. We can't box him. We have to keep him in, you know, keep him out. I'm so gutted for Felipe in the sense that he's just lost his, his chance of getting the fastest lap. But, which he would have got. The pressure that we just put on Alonso we can take a look now. here caused him to lock up and take out Russell. Oh, wow, that's a huge crash for Russell. Look at his car. We caused that, kind of. The team are really disappointed with that. Let's hope it doesn't set them back too badly. No DRS. Russell's out. Alonso's car is ruined. He's going to have to pit. Where is Alonso? He's lapped. Three more laps. Mm. Three more laps. Uh, he's, he's... Well, Vesti's going to get into 10th. I'm just wondering if we can maybe get 9th as well, but we've got a point. We salvaged a point. How have we salvaged a point? <laughs> This race was an utter shambles. 
but somehow we've managed to salvage a point. I don't think we're going to get uh, to unlap ourselves. But we don't need to, really. Sykes is staying out. Not Sykes, sorry, Alonso is staying out. If the safety car comes in at the end of this lap, which I seriously doubt it will, but if it does, it's going to be so slow. I think the race is just going to finish behind the safety car. I mean, this is why you have to keep watching these streams right at the end. I mean, every, we seem to get some drama happening at the end of every race. Safety car's about to cross the line. Yep, there we go. So, yeah. So, this is last lap. This is last so we're not going to get the chance to have a crack at Ricardo. But we've got a point. We're guaranteed 10th place. So, we lost out on the chance of a point of personal pride for Felipe, but we managed to trade that for a, an actual point. And once again, we are finishing ahead of... Uh, Safety car will be in this lap. Uh, finishing ahead of um, Haas, although you know, we are finishing behind... Ricardo. There is no overtaking until the control line. Maybe two left with no gas. And there we go. End of the Grand Prix. A really disappointing race for Felipe. Um, Freddie managed to get himself back into 10th with a little bit of help. What an incredible outcome for Aston Martin's driver. It's such a hard circuit to make up places on though when you don't have either the right driver or the right car. Aston Martin. And that is Having definitely borne out again good today. Day at the track. Yeah, this was a really clever bit of strategy, and it's great to see that pay off. I can't wait to find out what they show us next time. After the race, they sit in seventh place in the constructor standings. Formula One has almost reached its conclusion this year. Meet us next time in Abu Dhabi, between the desert and the sea, for an enthralling finale. All right, so there we go. Sao Paulo is done. Ah, good result for Hamilton, jumping up two places. Sainz gaining 14 places, and he had that spin that, uh, not spin, sorry, uh, that uh, 
Yeah, it was it was a spin. He spun into Bottas and picked up a penalty. So he lost an extra five seconds on his pit stop, but he still fought his way all the way back up to sixth again. He's uh, he's recovered well. Uh, Freddie drops two places from where he started, but you know salvages a point. Felipe gains four places, but it's it's a race of what could have been had things you know things gone right for him. And then uh, Gasly, uh, why he stayed out, I don't know. The AI likes to do that. They like to keep drivers out even when they're completely in uncompetitive. But let's take a look at the constructors. Uh, Leclerc extends his gap over Verstappen. So the gap is 18 points. I think that means Leclerc is more than likely going to win the title. Unless something horrible happens to him at Abu Dhabi, Leclerc is going to be our champion for this season. Uh, Max second. Perez is pretty much guaranteed third now. Sites just you know giving away more points to uh, to his rival there. Hamilton locked into fourth. Uh, sorry, into fifth. Uh, Russell no points for him. Taken out by uh, Fernando Alonso, who still scores four points, uh, means that he's now just eight points ahead of Bottas. Bottas gunning for the guy who took his seat. Can Bottas beat Russell in the standings in the next race? That'll be interesting to see. Uh, Alonso ties up with Gasly, so there's a real battle between those two going to the final race. Uh, Fernando will have a penalty in qualifying. He'll have a three-place penalty for causing that collision and not being able to serve. Oh, has it been added on as a time penalty? He kept going, so it'll have been added to his time. Um, yeah. Point number seven for Freddy. Uh, he moves him up above Schumacher. Uh, so that's good. Uh, in the constructors, Ferrari three points ahead of Red Bull. That is going to go to the final uh, the final laps of the final Grand Prix. Uh, and that's the only real battle that's out there, I think. Maybe Alpha and, and, uh, and Alpine will have a little scrap. There's nine points between them. No, 11 points between them. Uh, so maybe something will happen there. You never know. Uh, but I think Alpine are probably going to be best of the rest. Uh, and then we are now 15 points clear of Haas, so barring an absolute miracle, we're seventh in the Constructors at the end of the season. Uh, that is uh, mightily impressive. We are going to have some housekeeping to do before the next Grand Prix, and because next Grand Prix is the last one of the season, we're going to do the housekeeping now so that we can go straight into the Grand Prix tomorrow night because we are going to have some post-season uh, housekeeping to do tomorrow. Uh, so let's see. Um, exceptional race for Freddy. Mm, uh, not really, but well, yeah, fair enough. Uh, seven overtakes, six defences, five failed overtakes, ten failed defences. Uh, we do get a point for Felipe. It was an impressive race. Eleven overtakes, three defences, eight failed uh, overtakes, and four failed defences. Yeah. That sounds about right. Uh, we lost out on some money uh, because we failed a lot of things. We failed the quality streak. Uh, we failed our finish position. We failed to get both cars into Q2. We failed the quality position guarantee. Um, we we lost 300 grand, but yeah, we can afford to do that. It's just a point of personal pride really that we failed all those objectives. Uh, right, let's improve is breaking again. We're going to get that to 80 before we start looking at his cornering. Uh, how is Freddy doing? He is only 200 points away, so he will have a point after Abu Dhabi, but not before. That's annoying. We were so close. Uh, do we have any points with our staff? Yes, Ben has a point. Uh, let's improve his pit crew. I 
Okay, let's take a look at our inbox. Engine cooling could be better. Yes, I'm aware. Uh, we exceeded expectations brilliantly, apparently, by, by coming in 10th. Uh, our wind tunnel is now in poor condition, so we do need to go ahead and refurb that. That will be ready before the end of the season, or before the end of the year. So we'll get a fully refurbed wind tunnel in in time for the next uh, the next season. That's good. Uh, CFD will be fine. Suspension simulator that might be a problem, and same with the car park test center. Uh, uh, the factory as well. I'd like to refurb the factory, but again, you can't refurb until they get too low, which is a bit frustrating. I'd like to just get them out of the way now so they go into the start of the next calendar year in pristine condition. Uh, let's take a look at our staff development facilities. Uh, race simulator is going to be an issue at the end of the year. That will again be a bit of an issue, but. Can't really do anything about that now. Uh, I'm not going to change the scouting department. There's no need. Everything here is getting refurbed or upgraded. Uh, helipad's fine. Memorabilia is fine. Tour center. Uh, tour center is fine. We'll leave it. We'll just do a, an upgrade when it when it needs it. Uh, spare parts. We are going to need some new spare parts. I think. Uh, yes, let's see. We only have one spare front wing. So let's, uh, let's manufacture. How long are they going to take? Three days. What if we rush it? Yeah, let's rush two in. There we go. So we'll have three spares, just in case we do something stupid in practice. Um, but beyond that, we are where we need to be now in terms of parts and stuff for the last race of the season. Uh, it's kind of a throwaway race. Uh, we don't really have anything to achieve in that race. I mean, more points would be nice, but uh, it's all about, you know, maybe trying to just get some experience for our drivers. So if we can keep them close together, get them fighting each other and just swapping places a lot. Then that will help, I think, help develop both of them. Uh, let's advance time. Alright, manufacturing is done, so we've got our spare front wings. Uh, and that is it. So, uh, let's see. Uh, when does our next part come up? There. That's when the chassis comes up. Uh, and then we get our board performance review the day after, uh, as well as some scouting reports. Uh, car park development will be locked, but that's fine. That's for this season. We can still do research projects up until the end of December. So, uh, what is that symbol? Oh, it's a facility um, refurb so uh when this uh chassis is done we'll probably do a side pod um or maybe a suspension um probably a side pod we'll see how how much time we'll have left in the year but we'll have a calendar month and a bit we'll have what five weeks five and a half weeks of time to try and squeeze in uh that last project we do have a couple of hours left uh, to allocate to that as well, just to give it the best possible boost uh, for next season. Obviously, we put the big bulk of those on the rear wing last night. Uh, so, uh, that is all we can do tonight. Tomorrow will be the conclusion of Season 1 of Challenge Mode, uh, where we look to have achieved our targets. Uh, and say, barring a minor miracle, uh, you know, we are pretty much locked into 7th place now. Uh, which is amazing. Our drivers have gained, um, you know, some really good experience this season. Uh, our car has improved quite heavily, despite the fact that we've had those limitations on us. But next season is going to be harder. Next season, we're going to have less hours to play about with. Next season, we can only do two major upgrades per part, you know, during the season. And that includes pre-season as well. So whereas last year, 
we could go two major underfloors from March and Bahrain. This year, we've got to go two major underfloors from January. That's going to be tough. That's going to be very tough to manage getting those upgrades in. And make sure we get them in at the right time of the year. So, uh, we'll conclude Season 1 tomorrow. And then Friday, we'll be back with Williams uh, for the next Grand Prix there. Uh, where we go to Silverstone, which is the home Grand Prix of our Williams team and George Russell as well. So a couple of great races to look forward to. Well, one great race, one end of season race <laughs> over the next two days. Uh, so until then, thanks for watching. I am Jim Bob and I'll be back with some more F1 Manager Challenge Mode very soon. <laughs>